We're off to see something a little bit different, a strange hobby. Mm -hmm. We're heading over to the Young Living Lavender Farm. Right. In Mona. Mona, Utah. Mona, Utah. Kind of weird. And they have hundreds of acres of lavender. Oh, yes. And they grow these, these purple flowers and then they press it down and they make essential oil. Oh, and it smells so good. I essential love oil. I'm not that into, I don't know anything about essential oil, but like it there's this whole good. almost like cult of people who do essential oils and it's, it's insanely you. expensive. You get a little bottle and it smells of roses or something. Mm -hmm. But apparently it takes a thousand pounds of roses to make a little bottle or some such yeah, nonsense. It's so it's expensive. insanely expensive. Anyway, Young Living Farms in Mona makes these essential oils and they have their farm there. Mm -hmm. And it's Young Living not because it's young. Right. It's young because it's Gary Young. The right. guy's name is Gary Young that runs the whole place. Mm -hmm. Now Gary has a weird hobby. Yes. He jousts. Uh -huh. Medieval jousting, and not like the medieval times in Los Angeles jousting where you go out and you sort of do a WWF impersonation of, <laughs> of what jousting might have looked like and it's all sort of theatrical. No, he and his friends go out there, put on full-on armor, and try to knock each other off their horses with lances. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Sounds like fun. So let's go check it out. Gary Young and the Young Living Farm jousting. Jousting. Gary Young has built an entire jousting arena here on his farm in Mona, Utah, complete with rather extensive stables for these incredibly expensive horses. The public is welcome and there are many bleachers here to sit in. There is no admission charge, but what would be the point of doing all of this if there was no audience? The guys currently riding around are actually up here from medieval times in Los Angeles and they're doing the kind of show that they do down there at medieval times. It's all highly choreographed and highly staged. That doesn't mean that people don't get hurt, but it's all fake. It's all WWF level of competition. Don't get me wrong, these guys are incredibly skilled to be doing what they're doing. It takes thousands of hours of practice to be able to do these things and not kill each other. They even joust, but keep in mind they're wearing lightweight plastic armor and carrying lightweight breakaway lances. Again, it's all just demonstration, it's all just for show. But now... The whole deal takes a turn to the serious. This is Gary Young in his full plate steel armor. Notice that they've put up lanes at the jousting area to keep the horses from deflecting away from the center rail. It's rather intense and any horse that's half smart would just flat run away. That pass was stopped because Gary's shield dislodged and fell to the ground. The shields in this case are mounted on the armor, not handheld. You score points by knocking the other guy's shield off his armor. You also get points for just making contact with your opponent and maximum points for unhorsing your opponent. Getting knocked off a tall horse while wearing over a hundred pounds of steel armor, well, that can be rather painful. These lances are incredibly heavy and, by the way, incredibly dangerous. They're not pointy, but they can sure do a lot of damage.
This time, Gary's lance got up under the helmet of his opponent and knocked him out. After an appropriate break, everyone turned out to be more or less okay. So Gary took his victory lap around the stadium. Gary was not feeling too well either. He had taken a lance to the stomach earlier and had a massive bruise. These guys are attempting to bring back heavy armor jousting as an Olympic sport. I don't know if they'll pull that off, but, well, good luck to them. In spite of the intense danger, these guys really do enjoy what they're doing. It costs an awful, awful lot of money to do what they're doing, but... You know, if you've made millions of dollars growing flowers like Gary Young has, why not? After all, it is yet another example of the high, high art of screwing around. Well, that's that's a weird that was, hobby. That was awesome. That was a weird Very hobby. Very strange, but and awesome. he got hurt. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I, don't do I, I imagine every time they do that, they get hurt. Yeah. So that's daddy. that's just weird. That's the nature of the sport. But that's what they're into. Mm -hmm. Well, if you haven't been to the website, get over there, toymantelevision.com. It's right. always fun to check out. And, of course, keep watching the YouTube channel, Toyman Television, here on YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed, click the blue button. That's easy. It's really easy. It's fun. See? Blue button, do it, click it, now you've subscribed, and it's all very well and good. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. Oh, no. <laughs> and we will see you here again in one week with some more massive screwing around. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.